Hey, this is Matt with My Florida Home Buyers, and I'm standing outside of a house that we just purchased here in Altoona, Florida. Uh, there is the house there and the little uh, utility building off to the side of it there. And this house actually sits on five acres uh, just on the southern uh, border of the Ocala National Forest. And this house is in Altoona, uh, Altoona, Florida, which a lot of people associate with Lake County, but this house is actually in Marion County, Florida. Uh, you actually have to go through Lake County and then back into Marion County to get out here. And uh, it's a little little strange with that, uh, just a little tiny uh, dirt road that runs down the front here to get back to this house. So um, just checking it out. Like I said, we, we just bought it, closed on it yesterday. I just got the keys today. So I'm out here putting the lockbox on and uh, checking out uh, what the people left behind because um, we, we never really know what, what's gonna be left behind when people move out. and. Uh, just kind of getting a game plan together as far as what we're going to do to get this thing cleaned up and renovated and uh, and re ultimately resold. So I'll take you through, I'll show you the house, um, show you what the people left behind, and I'll talk a little bit about the situation that the sellers were in that we were able to help them out with. So this house is actually not in that bad of uh, condition considering how old it is and, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's got a metal roof, so uh, lifetime metal roof. It's block construction. It's got newer windows, central AC. Uh, it does have a lot of stuff going for it, um, but it does need some repairs. It needs some cleaning up, and uh, there is a lot of stuff uh, I'm noticing that is left behind, uh, that the previous uh, owners left behind. So. Um, and then it's just some minor landscaping uh, stuff. You can see we've got a bush here up on the, up into the soffit of the house. So, but all in all, considering this house was built in 1960s, 1950s, um, it's in pretty decent shape. This is actually the side of the house that faces the road. And uh, it actually sits pretty close to the road. So here's, here's the front of the house. And this is an enclosed porch on the front here. And then you can see they left some furniture and stuff out the front there. but. Well, from where I am right here, the road is only right just on the other side of this, this clump of trees here. So uh, for being on five acres, it does sit towards the front of the property. And, uh, but it's not really a busy road. So uh, you're not gonna really get much traffic, if any at all. So coming around to this side of the house, uh, you can see there is this whole uh, trap door thing in the side of the house and I'll actually show you that inside that's actually a space where you can actually put firewood uh, from the outside of the house into the inside and it opens up right into the um, the room where the fireplace is the living room so the fireplace is right there on the inside and you can pass wood through this uh, from the outside without dragging it through your house now this house I also noticed like I said a lot of the windows are newer like these here but for whatever reason, out of all the windows in the entire house, for whatever reason, these are original. These are older aluminum windows. And you can see they replaced all of the others all the way around, just not these. And I don't know why. All right, now walking into the house here, um, the first thing that surprised me was that they didn't leave as much stuff as I thought they would. Uh, so there is some stuff in here. Uh, this is the kitchen. Um, but it's not jam-packed like some of the houses that we see um, when people move out. So they actually did take a lot with them. Um, now this is the kitchen here. It's in decent shape. Uh, it could use a good cleaning. Um, but the weirdest thing about this kitchen is if you check under the sink, for one thing, it's, it's all um, water damaged and, and falling through. But they've also taken the drain line and disconnected it from here and they've run it so that it goes out through the wall of the house and i'll show you that on the outside they actually run it through so that when you drain the sink it goes to the outside of the house and uh, the previous owner told me that she actually set that up so that she could water her flowers out there she had some pipes rigged up so that the water would just go outside and then it wouldn't be wasted this is the living room here and there are uh, nice hardwood floors. Um, these are the original uh, hardwood floors. They're in relatively good condition. They could be resurfaced um, if we decide to do that. There's also a porch that was enclosed out here. And they've actually added uh, AC out here. So this isn't just an enclosed porch or a Florida room. It's actually part of the living space of the house. But you can see it actually was a porch. Uh, it's got concrete floors and 
uh, you know, you step down from inside the house. It definitely was a porch that they just enclosed with windows and, and put AC in. Walking back here, this is uh, where the bedrooms and the bathroom are. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I don't know the exact square footage, but this is one of the bedrooms here. So nothing really to see, uh, nothing too crazy. And then this is the bathroom. So it looks very much original um, with all the yellow tile. This is pretty common um, in, the, uh, in the 60s when this house was built. But uh, otherwise not really anything remarkable about the bathroom other than the broken uh, window that needs to be fixed. And then this is another bedroom here. Um, again, just a standard bedroom, nothing really special to see here. Um, and there are the hardwood floors that are in the rest of the house. They're in there as well. So, and then we've got a water stain up on the ceiling. Uh, that supposedly is from the AC unit, which is up in the attic on this house. Uh, this house didn't actually have a closet for the AC when it was built, so when it was put in, uh, it was retrofitted into the attic. So this is the little outbuilding that sits right next to the house, and you can see they left a lot of stuff out here on the porch, um, but the washer and dryer are actually inside this little enclosed part, and I'll show you that. Um, and they've also got a shower in here. Let's see. So this is inside here. Um, you can see we've got a electrical panel. There was a spot for an AC, a window AC unit at one point. And then this is where the washer and dryer hookups are. But you can see there was some sort of leak and there's it's actually still moisture all over the floor. So we'll have to tear into that and see what's going on. And then there's a shower out here too. And it's kind of up on blocks. Like they just sat it up on blocks. I don't know why exactly, but it's kind of strange. Uh, there's also a ice cream uh, freezer chest out here. So I don't know how they got a hold of that. But I guess if you wanted to store your ice cream the way it is in the store, you can do that here. I'm walking into the rundown uh, pole barn on the property that sits just behind the house. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I haven't really dug through it, but <laughs> there's stuff everywhere. And I'm sure you could spend a lot of time digging through here and finding little treasures. Um, there's a couch out here, like a little sitting area. And there's actually a plane over here, like a uh, a remote control, like gas powered, like this actually got like a gas powered engine in it, um, model airplane. So that's pretty cool. I doubt it works. And then of course this pole barn is uh, completely shot. Um, I don't even know if it's worth saving. You can see the light coming in the the ceiling there. And uh, it's just a dirt floor uh, kind of pole barn. It's not even a slab in here. So um, probably not worth trying to renovate. And then also out here, there's not only a picnic table, but there's also an overturned hot tub. So like I said, the, the seller of this house, she was in a situation that we were able to help her out with. Um, and, and what had kind of happened was uh, she had um, inherited the house from her husband. Her husband tragically uh, passed away, uh, kind of left her with this entire five acre property that she was having trouble taking care of. Um, she also didn't really want to be this far out in the woods, uh, all the way out here in the forest. She wanted to be kind of closer to town. And the house does need work. I mean, um, you know, I, I walk you through it. You kind of saw the condition of it. Um, and I didn't really touch on all the things that need to be repaired. Just I kind of touch on the things that I find interesting. But um, it does need some work. Um, it, it, overall, it's in good shape for its age. Uh, but it does need work to get it back um, back to 100%, back to be able to, um, you know, if, if you were to sell to a buyer who needed to get financing, um, they're probably not going to be able to get it on this house in its current condition. So. When you're in a situation like that, um, yeah, you can list the property with a realtor and, and, and the lady here, she actually talked to several realtors and they gave her the price that they thought she could sell it for. But the problem with that is if you encounter a buyer who needs to get financing and most buyers out there need to get financing, um, you know, a bank is not going to lend on a house that needs um, these type of repairs with the plumbing uh, issues and stuff like that. So uh, even if she did list with a realtor, she'd be looking for a cash buyer anyway. So she saved herself a step. She, she cut out the realtor, went directly to 
to us, the, the local cash home buyers, um, and we were actually able to come out and buy it from her. So uh, we closed exactly when she wanted to close. She had a you know a specific date that she needed to hit as far as a closing date, um, you know, to get her moved out and seamlessly into her next uh, into her next house. And um, yeah, we paid her cash, bought it just like it is, and uh, as you can see, she she left a bunch of stuff so and, and and that's fine you know we're gonna take care of all that and she doesn't have to worry about uh cleaning it out making repairs um you know it, it would have been uh almost impossible for her to come out here and and take care of this giant five acre property so uh we were happy we were able to help her out everything's good now she's got her cash and and we've got another project on our hands so uh, if you have a house to sell in Lake County or in Marion County, uh, out here in Altoona, uh, it doesn't matter which county it's in, we can, we can take a look at it and see if it's something that we can help you out with. Um, we can pay you cash, we can close fast, there's no realtor uh, commission, no fees, uh, you don't even have to pay any closing costs, we take care of all that for you. Uh, this lady here owed a ton of back taxes, we took care of all that for her, um, and, and we basically just cut her a check and, and, uh, and made it easy on her, easy and simple, that's, that's the way we like it. So uh, if, you, if you have a situation, a real estate situation that we might be able to help you out with, go on our website, myfloridahomebuyers.com, uh, give us a call. Um, the, the best way is to submit everything on the website, that way we have all of your information, uh, most of the stuff that we need. And uh, yeah, we'll get in touch with you. We'll see if it's something that we can help you out with. We'd, we'd love to come take a look at the house or the property. We, you know, we buy vacant land, mobile homes, um, you know, houses like this, it, you know, you name it, we buy it. So uh, get in contact with us. We'll see if it's something we can help you out with. And uh, if so, you can have cash in your hand and in a week or two and, and be on to the next chapter of your life. So uh, again, my name is Matt. I'm with My Florida Homebuyers. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you on the next video.